guys, and welcome back to one of my weekly recipe videos. Uh, sorry for the delay for last week. I was at Paleo FX and it was super overwhelming, but I'm back. And today, uh, I actually want to talk about something that I was looking over last week. I was going through the internet and I came across an interesting fact or opinion. I don't know how to describe it, but basically, it is implying that avocados and lattes are the reason that millennials will be unable to purchase a home. And come to think of it, rifling through some expenses, that is definitely the reason. So today, I'm going to sacrifice my finances and ability to buy a home by showing you eight different ways to make avocado toast. So let's go. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about what avocado toast is. You can always skip this part if you want me to go over it, but there are a few pointers that you might not have known about. Uh, the first thing I wanna cover is bread. So the most important thing when it comes to making avocado toast, obviously, is the toast. Well, also the avocados, but the toast is equally as important. This here is sourdough from a local bakery that is naturally fermented and naturally risen. So it's got lots and lots and lots of good flavor and it's got lots and lots of good health components to it that keep it from being so, you know, destructive, you know. Bread to me should only have like two to four ingredients, not 27 ingredients. That's just my personal opinion. Now obviously the next sort of key to making good avocado toast is having some nice avocados to work with. So. Obviously, uh, one thing about the avocados is you can smash them or you can slice them, it doesn't really matter. The only thing that really does matter is that they are nicely ripe. So you can always try and find a ripe avocado by pressing the sides and it should be firm but it should give way a little bit. It shouldn't be like mush or have like a crumbly texture on the skin. Now that we got all those components figured out, we can go ahead and make our avocado toast. So here we go, I'm gonna show you eight different easy, fantastic ways to make avocado toast. Here we go. Oh yeah, and by the way, actually, no, not here we go. Uh, one more thing, so you should toast your bread. Obviously, because it's avocado toast, but I just wanted to say it just for clarification. Before you make your avocado toast, and that is the base for all of these, toast your bread first. Toast it, toasty, toasty, toasty. You can do it in a pan with butter on both sides until it's crispy, or you can just toast it in a toaster. Doesn't matter. Just make sure it's like nice and a little bit crispy and soft on the inside. That's what you want. Anyway, here we actually go. All right, so I've got some bread toasting, and the first one coming up is the Plain Jane. So, this is a very simple one. Let's go ahead and get started. So, first thing that you're gonna wanna do with this one is take your avocado, and I'm not gonna do this for every single toast. I'm just gonna show you on this very first one, in case you don't know how to pit an avocado. You're gonna go ahead and take your avocado and carefully slice down until you reach that pit and then roll the avocado around the edge of the blade until you sort of meet with that first cut that you had on the top. And then just take your avocado and twist and pull apart and boom, there you go. You've got an avocado that you just cut. Now in order to take the pit out, uh, there's a lot of ways you can do this. Just be very careful not to do it too hard and just gonna sort of like lightly hold it in the palm of your hand and tap and hold the avocado and twist and boom, there you go. You just put in an avocado, done. Oh, f that just went in the fucking garbage disposal. Yeah, that's gross. We've pitted the avocado. Now we can go ahead and just carefully peel it. And, you know, one of the things about peeling, actually, you know what? You know what makes peeling an avocado much easier that I just forgot to tell you? Quarter it. Once you quarter it like that, this is gonna make your peeling job much easier. Yeah, I remember things sometimes. So, anyway, uh, you're just gonna go ahead and grab it and carefully peel off that skin. I was lucky enough to get some really fucking nice avocados, so yeah. And you'll probably need about half of an avocado per toast. All right, now that we've got our avocado, we're gonna wanna go ahead and slice it up and just sort of slice it at any thickness you want. I kinda like to slice them at about a quarter to an eighth of an inch, it just depends. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect because they're gonna be smashed anyway. So those are sliced. This is half of an avocado slice. We're gonna go ahead and make our first toast. All right, so this avocado toast is very straightforward. All you're gonna do is take your avocado and we're just going to lay them around the toast to kind of fill it up. You don't really wanna go over the edges and that's kind of a good measure 
Um, instead of going by avocado, you should go by how much it fills up the toast. So that's pretty good. We're gonna take our fork, and this is sort of the, the easiest part. So now that it's sliced up all over here, all we're gonna do is take our fork and kind of mash it. And we're just, we don't want it, we, the whole purpose of using the fork is we don't want it to be super smooth. We just want it kind of chunky. You know, it's got some texture to it. That's, that's what I'm saying. Getting ready, right? Almost there. Now is where the magic happens. So first we're gonna put some Malden flaky sea salt. Healthy amount of salt. Pretty good amount. You're gonna wanna be pretty generous. And then we're gonna take our olive oil and just drizzle it lightly with oil. And there you go. That is the plain Jane. Next, let's go. Also, you're gonna wanna remember to forget the pepper, the black pepper that goes on there that is fresh cracked. Definitely forget that. Now, for our next one, we have the New Yorker. I don't know if that's the right accent. Anyway. The New Yorker. So we're gonna go ahead and start here with our same base as per usual. We're gonna take our avocado and make our base. Smashing this one up. There we go. And then to this, we're gonna add smoked salmon. And you know, put as much as your heart desires and wouldn't be fit without all the fixins. I'm gonna go ahead and add this everything bagel seasoning that my roommate has. You don't have to add this, I just kinda like it. It's tasty and it looks nice. First thing is going to be tomato, some nice sort of tomato slices. And then we're going to add some thinly sliced red onion. There we go. And then the last bit of that is gonna be some capers. Sprinkle them on wherever they seem fit. Classic sort of New Yorker style avocado toast. Next. So next up is going to be put an egg on it. So essentially this one is gonna have two soft boiled eggs on it or one to two. I'm gonna bring a pot of water up to medium high heat and wait till it starts to come to a nice boil. You're gonna lower in with a slotted spoon two eggs. Carefully, you don't wanna crack the eggs when they slam to the bottom. And we're gonna let those boil for about six and a half minutes. Now that the eggs are done, we're gonna go ahead and lower them into an ice water bath to cool them down and get them to stop cooking. And those are just gonna chill. You only need to chill them for about two minutes. I'm actually gonna go ahead and flute out the avocado instead of doing the traditional smashing of it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Wow, look at that, that's all fluty and stuff. Take our soft boiled egg that has been chilled and now peeled only chilled for about two minutes. I like to take a knife and just kind of poke right there in the center, jostle it back and forth. We're gonna use this as your marker to tear from. Take this and tear our egg like that. Just place it in the center like so. We're gonna go ahead and add some Flaky sea salt again. I'm a big fan of flaky sea salt, as you can see. Pretty generously, yet again. We're gonna take a peeler and peel some Parmesan on there. It ends up creating a little bit more of an exciting complexity of flavor. And I like to take some sunflower greens. You don't have to do this part, but I'm a big fan of sunflower greens. And just kinda put them on there as you see fit. So that's it for the put an egg on it. You can add some black pepper to this. I actually like it just as it is. And we're going to the next one. Next up is you making me caprese, which, you know, is essentially a caprese salad on top of avocado toast. All right, so we've got our base. Now next up, we're gonna go ahead and add our tomatoes. Next, we're gonna go for the cheese, which this is a fresh mozzarella cheese. I pronounced that really strangely. <laughs> Fresh. Just tear this up and add it wherever you see fit. And then next we're gonna go ahead and add some flaky sea salt. And next we're gonna do olive oil, some fresh cracked pepper. And then finally you're gonna add some basil. You can do regular basil. I have fancy basil here, which is essentially just micro opal basil. There you go. You making me caprese is done. Let's move on to the next one, let's go. The next one I like to call the uncommitted vegetarian. Mostly vegetables, except there is some serious bacon action going too. Now we've got our base sort of going here. So first part of this, we're gonna go ahead and do some radish. This is watermelon radish that I sliced very thin into nice little triangles. And we're just gonna lightly crumble over some feta. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add our 
piece de resistance, just the bacon. And there you go. Next one, let's go. I call this one the Samurai. So essentially, it's a Japanese inspired one. Smash. This one's gonna get a pretty rough smash. And then from there, all you're gonna do is take some togarashi, which you can find at a lot of stores. You can find it at an Asian market. Uh, it's essentially chili pepper, orange peel, and some other sort of Japanese flavors. And just sprinkle that all over to add some flaky sea salt as well, because you know, I just put flaky sea salt on fucking everything. Moving on to the next one. All right, this one's gonna be the spa day. I'm, I'm actually running out of plates in my apartment for this project. For this, we're gonna go ahead and add our olives, and then our thinly sliced cucumbers. We're gonna take some raw garlic and just kinda microplane a little bit of it on there. And then a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of balsamic vinegar. Moving on to the next one. What I like to call the trailer park. So first let's go ahead and make this chili corn relish. Right here I have some raw corn. And in this bowl you just hold your corn up. And I just peeled it. It's completely raw, didn't cook it. You can eat raw corn and just take your knife and run down the edge. To that, I'm gonna go ahead and take these. These are like little mini bell peppers. You can use whole bell peppers. And we're gonna take this, and we're gonna very, very thinly slice it. Super duper thin, as thin as you can. And as you're doing that, just kinda add that to the relish. From there, you're gonna add a pretty healthy amount of sea salt and some rice vinegar. Just pure rice vinegar. From there you're gonna add about two tablespoons of olive oil. It should be nice and glossy. Get another taste. Pretty darn tasty. All right, we're all mashed up there. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our pepper and corn salsa, chili corn salsa, whatever you wanna call it. there we're gonna go ahead and add some picked cilantro leaves you can chop these leaves or you can just sort of leave them whole super simple easy to make you can pull this kind of, all the all of these things you can pull together in less than 10 minutes and there you go this is the last one of them all and there it is Probably the largest amount of avocado toast I think I've ever seen in a single day, let alone a single week or month. But uh, you know, it was well worth it because now I'm gonna go fill the hole in my bank account with avocado toast. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy this video and I hope that you get to make one of these avocado toasts and I hope you still get to buy a house afterwards. Um, either way, I'm gonna go ahead and dive in on one of these bad boys. It's actually pretty good. It's really good. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this video. Or don't. Or if your boat. There's a spider in here, Josh. Kill it. Kill oh, it. My god. Okay.